Hi, this is Marcy with Earth Sky. Let's take a tour of some of the bright objects in the January evening sky. This is an actual shot from an all sky camera that shows approximately what you'll see in the January evening sky. This is from mid northern latitudes, about 8 p.m. in mid January, 7 p.m. late January. And of course, things will vary by your location and time of night, but it will give you an idea of what to see. Those of you who are experienced stargazers, some of your old friends are probably back in the evening sky. Those new to stargazing, there's a lot of bright objects easy to find in January skies. We have four bright planets in the evening sky this month. Venus is the brightest, then Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. This is their approximate location from the eastern to western horizon on January 5th. Keep an eye on Saturn and Venus this month. They'll be getting closer to each other and closest on the evenings of January 17th and 18th. Mars is definitely putting on a show this month. It'll be closest to Earth on January 12th. On the evening of January 13th, it will be close to our full wolf moon. And from some locations, the full moon will actually occult or pass in front of Mars. And then on the night of January 15th, 16th, it will reach its opposition and that's when Earth flies between it and the Sun. It'll be brightest for 2025 in the month of January. Moving around to mid-January, Venus and Saturn are closer to each other. Mars is higher in the sky, and Jupiter still dominates overhead. And here's a shot of how close Venus and Saturn will appear when they're closest on January 17th and 18th. Now let's take a look at some of the brighter stars and constellations in the sky. One of the most obvious constellations in the sky and well known is Orion the Hunter and it's most easily picked out by finding its three belt stars, three bright stars in a row. Here is a star chart on Orion. Again the three belt stars are very obvious. You've got bright stars at the corner, Betelgeuse on one side and Rigel on the other. And the belt stars actually conveniently point to our brightest star in the sky, Sirius. Next we're going to take a look at Taurus the Bull. Taurus is easily picked out by a V-shaped pattern of stars. This is known as the Hyades. It's a star cluster. And you will see that the brightest star in Taurus the Bull, Aldebaran, is actually a member of the Hyades, but it's a foreground star. It's not part of the star cluster. Another star cluster nearby is the Pleiades, which looks like a tiny little dipper and is often known as the Seven Sisters. Also, the bright planet Jupiter is near the Hyades this month in Taurus the Bull. This month, you can easily spot Jupiter between two bright stars. Of course, Aldebaran, the eye of Taurus the Bull in Hyades, and Capella, which is the brightest star in Araga the Charioteer. Also nearby is the Pleiades star cluster. The next constellation that's easy to pick out is Cassiopeia. It looks like a W or M in the sky. Cassiopeia is made of five moderately bright stars and it will sometimes appear as an M or a W depending on its position in the sky. Next, let's look for the Great Square. This truly does look like a giant square in the sky. It's actually part of Pegasus and you can pick out this big giant square in the sky pretty easily. Then look for Gemini the Twins. The twin stars of Gemini, Pollux and Castor, are two first magnitude stars that shine very near each other, so they're pretty noticeable. The twin stars don't exactly look like twins. Pollux is slightly brighter, and Castor is a golden color. This month, near the twin stars, you can find the bright red planet Mars. Keep an eye on Mars this month. It'll be getting closer to the twin stars. You might wonder where the Big Dipper is this month. If you look early in the evening, it's low on the northern horizon. If you wait till about 8 or 9 at night, you can see it climbing high in the northwestern sky. Have fun exploring the January evening sky.